The Israeli ambassador to the United Nations, Danny Danone, is here. You saw Sarah Sanders there being asked about Jerusalem. Would there be any other countries following? And you say... Absolutely. It was a courageous decision by the president. The Czech Republic is already following the U.S. And that's a leadership decision. When President Truman decided in 1948 to recognize Israel, he was the first one. He was the only one. And President Trump is doing the same. He's standing by its closest ally. And we are grateful for that. I think it's also a sign for the peace process because today there's a reality check for the Palestinians. They understand that they have to mm. engage with Israel and not come to the U.N. and pass ridiculous resolutions. You know what, we got to bring you back, but I'm glad you were here just the last couple of minutes because this topic came up with uh, Sarah Sanders being asked about if we're committed to the peace process. We all know that the Vice President, Mike Pence, will be in the region in the coming days. The President made that announcement when he said that we as a nation recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. We will welcome the Vice President when he comes to the capital of Israel, Jerusalem. First visit of a Vice President after a, such an important declaration. All right. Ambassador Danone, thank you. Thank very you very much. much.